the salty one. So I'd say with one minute to go, if you're competing, you would have been logged in. Dr. Drunkenstein is not logged in. <laughs> We're going to, I'm going to make a big assumption. What, what can you do? I'm going to have to assume something here. I'm going to make an assumption that this guy right here is Carlson. And you guys could fill me in if I'm, uh, if Dr. Drunkenstein begins playing. Okay, here we go. This is a, a mystery GM, and I'm, I'm making an assumption that this is Carlson. We'll see. I'm really hoping that he, uh, he wins like his first 10 games, because that'll be a good indication that uh, it is Carlson. In fact, I think it's already winning. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. Or or is it? Bishop's gonna go down. Hmm. So a mystery GM is who I'm tracking right now. This pawn could fall. Is the knight gonna be rescued? He could. There's no stopping the knight from getting to C2 into here. We'll see. Queenside castle or kingside castle? I think it's safe in either direction. I'd be leaning towards queenside castle. You get the king to safety and the rook is playing. This queen is pretty short on squares. One, two... Time edge for Team Black. <laughs> Just cutting off the coordination on F5. This pawn is under fire. Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty quick. <laughs> okay, we have a resigner. Let me make sure I am still on watching the games. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so here we are. I'm still just kind of sorting out, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm still wondering, is this even Carlson that I'm tracking? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see. We're going to see. <laughs> We're going to have to make a, uh, just kind of predict. Is this something Carlson would do? Okay, one for one. Queenside Castle. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting to see this against uh, the dragon. Up some material, white, but there are some some lines. These guys are this this guy is neutralized. He's defending some base points, huh? And there might be some tricks here to take and then unleash the bishop. Wow. That's a slick move. Bishop for knight exchange followed up with this. This is a backbreaker. Mm. So quick. So quick. King here, rook there. Uh, preparing to meet queen a6 with rook c6, defending the knight. Rook c6. Yeah. Gonna throw in some checks. Well, how do you get out of this? That's not... Oh! Oh! Oh, that's that's slick. You have to do that because the flight square was taken away. Thirty se Oh, look at the clock times. Black was really in the tank there. This should be a perpetual. No, not 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 quite. A couple checks you could throw in. Centralize the queen. It's probably going to be a time win. Five seconds. I'll take a quick peek to see where we are in the uh, tournament standings. Okay, that game is over. White one again. Is Dr. Drunkenstein anywhere in the top? He isn't. Okay. Let's go back over to the salty one. We'll see.
So uh, again, I'm not uh, 100% that this is uh, that this is Carlson. <laughs> um, I'm taking a, a wild a wild guess. So far, it appears that uh, it could, it could very well be Carlson. Two for two so far. Number fourteenth. Number fourteenth. Number fourteen. Black is better here. Better king position is what I see, along with the bishop pair. That's helpful. Rook there. Get out of the pin. The rook is now inconvenienced. And he's running way short on squares. So rook is out of play. Base points all covered. Could simplify a little bit or just still try and get this rook here and then here. This rook is having a tough day in the office. Yeah, at the office. A5 and then B4 is possible. The knight is under fire. And have this push now. Where is a safe square? Two of them. A push. Clock times as well. Ten seconds only. Yeah, this is collapsing. Bishop check. All these pawns are falling. Oh, that's that was almost mate. <laughs> so fast. Okay. Yeah, that's three for three. Okay, this salty one uh, is pretty slick. The salty one is currently in sixth place. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay here. <laughs> Uh, sneaky Carlson. I think we have a sneaky Carlson. Yeah, the speed is, the speed is there for sure. The skill is there. This must be. Yeah, Larso is in first. International master Larso. Let's see if he can keep up that pace. A great, a great start for sure. Norwegian IM. Okay. We know what side each player will go on. Black is going to play on the king's side. White's going to look for something over here. Queen side play. Okay. Yeah, that's a beautiful square now. And this rook is in some rough shape. Preparing to take out the knight. And now this rook is trapped. White wants to maintain the knight. This is a move as well. <laughs> You know what I meant. White's looking to get the majority. Oh, or a fork. That's some material. There's nothing over here now. I don't think... I mean, a different story if the bishop was on this diagonal. G3 here and then a sacrifice, but it's just an out of play. Bishop. There's some checks. The knight is falling next. Rook here, you could push, and then the bishop would fall. We have a resigner. Seven seconds more. Also, the salty one is in second. I think this is a pretty good indication <laughs> that we're staring at Carlson. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll know. Maybe we'll know only for certain at the very end. Okay, number one guy versus the salty one. Hmm? This this bishop could always have a little tempo against him. Knight d5. Yeah. Isolated queen pawn game. Strong bishop. And this is this is the big thing. IQP position. Yeah, perfect coordination. This is not a, a position you want to take on as white. You don't want to play with the IQP here. Some space on the king side. Pressure on d4. Queen exchange? No. I want to repair the structure. Mate threat? Yeah, that pawn is now gone. All right, so one pawn in there, and there may be some tactics here. Maybe that was an opportunity to exchange queens and then capture on a6. Going so fast, the queen can't go too far away. There's pressure on f2, and persistent pressure on f2. 
It's collapsing. Four second edge. Yeah, there goes G2, and uh, this is just a lot of fun for black. Technical phase. Rooks have to be exchanged. And, of course, this is a one king and pawn endgame, a resigner. So, with that, guess who's in first? <laughs> the salty one is on five for five. Who else can possibly do that? I wonder. I wonder who could do that. Hmm. Okay, Little Plotkin is in second. No, we had a, we had a change. Okay, here we go. Little Plotkin. Oh, who is now an FM. Ah, oh, very nice. Uh, last I knew, he was uh, an NM, so congrats to little Plotkin. Apparently broke the 2300 FIDE barrier. Okay, so number one versus the number two. Not just to any square with the bishop. You want to watch over that G5 square when you don't have a knight around. Otherwise, there's these Greek gift sacrifices. Okay, safe to castle kingside now. No fancy sacrifices. And we're going to get some peace trades in. I don't see an attack here for white. And so in the end, these static weaknesses are, are going to tell. Bishop there, rook exchange, improve the bishop. Yeah, bishop pair, good structure in this ending. Could even, could even uh, exchange queens, I believe. Okay, white's going to force queen takes queen with a fork. And be winning some material in the end, the bishop. Oh, that was a slick move. Pawn takes, there's queen takes bishop. This guy's now passed. White's looking for some tricks. There's got to be something good here, being up a piece, a full piece. Centralize the queen now. Just something quick to defend all base points. Cover the diagonal. Everything is covered. Here, and then just get running with the pawn. Don't allow this. You don't want the queen to get into h8. Offer queen exchange. Queen exchange again. No. Nope. It's picking up some pawns. Queen exchange now. Otherwise the bishop falls. I'll probably have a resigner. No. Being sneaky. One little sneaky move there. By a little plotkin. Okay. Well. Yeah. I think it's pretty confident to say 29-33 performance so far. This is very likely Carlson. Okay. GM battle 1 versus 9. Arca 50. Hmm. No, he's just taking the G, the G pawn. I'm going to weather some storm on the king side. Let's see how black defends this. I've had trouble playing the black side when I've, I've taken this pawn before. All right, so some square to play with. Hmm, this is Noah's Ark like, right? There wasn't that. There was the threat of c4 and the bishops going down. To be careful, this diagonal. Give that knight a shove. Improve the knight. Improve the bishop. Uh, kick the knight first. This pawn falls with the queen. Why not? Offer some trades. White's just up a piece, ready to win another one. Yeah, this this shouldn't be a difficult one to convert. That is a magnificent knight. Ooh, and the rook is dead. Look at that. Coordination. Up a full rook. You lost track. Yeah. <laughs> Black is up a f Black is up. A oh, okay, here we go. Black was up a full rook. Another resigner. The salty one is still perfect. Alexander Zubov. First time competing in the uh, titled arena. We have a Grunfeld. D4 is a focal point. Queen exchange on board. Yes. Still a focal point. The king's ready to castle by hand. And at some point, D5. Maybe F4, D5. No, D5 straight away. Leave the knight stranded. Oh, an in-betweener. One rook off. One rook still on. This this square is still under control. Rook is super active. E6. Ooh, I like that move. Oh, very nice. 
basic tactic, right? <laughs> uh, everything, everything just comes together. Yeah, rook takes, and then a fork aroni with the bishop. What's the knight going to do? Zubov is fast, for sure. But he is down, and uh, maybe going to play this one out? No. A lot of gas in the tank. 36 seconds. Rook takes bishop. And then a fork. Wow. Okay, well, that's how many games in a row? Eight games in a row? Let's see if you could go for nine. It's coming up the ranks. Oh, okay. Fiend Keto. Bishop hair? No. No bishop hair. Space? Some space. E4 break. No, playing alpha zero like moves. Hem in the bishop. E5 is in. It's game over, pretty much. This is a big problem. Space invaders. It's always these uh, exchange sacrifices. Get to that d6 square. If two pawns are here, this knight ever moves. Rook d6. Playing on the king side, black is down a bishop in this structure. Tall pawn syndrome. This pawn could fall. He wants it. He's just going to say the bishop is dead. I don't want that pawn. I'm going to play on the king side. Sacrifices here right around the corner. Bishop takes. Pawn takes. Queen takes is probably too much. Here we go. Check. Queen here. Knight check. Bishop here. Rook lift. Of course. <laughs> oh. And this bishop is still in rough shape. No good solution here. These rooks are not contributing, nor is the bishop. And every one of white's pieces is contributing. Rook f7 right around the corner. The queen has to go. And it's, it's already resigned. Rook f8, black resigns. That was going to be a lot of material. Queen falls, bishop falls, king will soon fall. MSB2, next opponent. The salty one is flawless. <laughs> okay. He's also, you know, he, he he's being... Carlson, I believe, is being extra sneaky because I don't believe these are his typical openings. The, yeah, I don't think these are the ones we're used to seeing. So he's maybe, uh, yeah, he's trying to be extra sneaky is all. Lining up discover checks. Oh, that seems like a little loose. Okay, so the queen is at least defended, so the knight is free to move. He's going hunting for a rook. Careful knight, don't move. Knight e2. That's why the bishop had to recapture there. Knight e2 is serious. Oh, a big blunder right there. Nice shot by White, deflecting the king away from defense. This might be his first loss. Let's see. King has to hunt this pawn down. Can you save him still? He's hanging on to that pawn. He's kind of important. Nice move. The bishop is running short on squares. Doesn't have a square. The bishop is barely there to defend. I was hanging on to the tricky knight. Yeah, it's not good on the clock either. Let's see what kind of magic Black could come up with here. What kind of tricky stuff can the knight do? King's going hunting. Mm, this pawn is really fast. Ten seconds only. What kind of magic? A check you could take and then bolt with this pawn. Yeah, he resigned. That was just, uh, you know, he, he missed that tactic on h7. Okay, so that's the first loss. 32, 24, 23, 22. It's not in a game yet. MSB2, I think uh, they have, MSB2 has played Dr. Drunkenstein before. Had some wins, so. <laughs> wow, what a weird start, huh? A big gap on e4. Just running the h-pawn. <laughs> Doesn't want to take it. Okay, there's a file to play with, and the, the h-file is there. c4, knight c3, no, a pin. Knight takes knight, there's an in-betweener. 
This takes back up, looking for c4 next. Now, breaking the pin so the knight is free to move. I don't know about this position for white. This knight's going to get in... Oh. Knight's going to get into e4. What? Whoa, what just happened there? Oh, there was some glitch. There's been a pawn on this square? I thought the queen was in a pin. There's some crazy glitch there. Uh, unless I'm seeing things. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there, uh, yeah, I probably have to reassess if there was a, if there was a pawn on e, e5 all along. Kind of makes a difference. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Yes, you had a glitch. I'm getting confirmation in the chat. Yeah, there was a glitch there. <laughs> all right. Sort of makes things different. What a difference an e5 pawn can make. Hmm. Okay, this is the way out of the pin. White is better. It's going to have a more active rook. Bishop there. Nice. Take with the king. Take with the pawn, maybe. Bishop takes, king takes here, and then rook c4. Rook is super active. King here, there's e6. Careful. e6 is in. The rook is going to fall. Gonzo next. Oh, no, the bishop could take. Still good at here for white. King takes pawn. It's going to bolt. King has to blockade. He's going into Pac-Man mode. King and pawn ending. King and pawn ending is winning for white. If the rooks are traded, here goes this guy. Still winning if the rooks are traded. Under 10 seconds. Ooh, there was an opportunity to take there. And it's going to be a rat race. Where's the speed? Uh, classic time burner right there. Oh, the rooks are... Oh, 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 oh. It's probably going to be a draw. Probably going to be a draw. It's a draw. Ooh. Okay, so... A loss and then a draw. Rebecca Harris is on fire with 28. It's the player I think will end up getting second. Ooh, it is the penguin. Versus the salty one. Okay. What's this? Check Benoni. All right. Yeah, I like the Fianchetto against this system. Does a good job fighting for that F4 square. Center is broken up. Yeah, this one this one's tough for me to comment. Not sure what's going on. Knight G4 is possible. Knight exchange also watches out for knight g4. You really want to get this kind of stuff in if possible. Maybe h5, knight g4. Uh, rook move and then knight g4 is an idea. Okay, h5 is finally in. The rook is defended by the bishop. Knight g4, bishop here ideas. Whoo. I wonder if Penguin feels that he's playing against uh, Carlson. Queen takes h4. Black is the better side here. Queen positions. King safety. Even on the clock. Trying to remove some defenders. Complete development as well. Hmm? Oh, queen takes queen and then this bishop falls. Oh, that's a slick move. Nice in-betweener. Very nice in-betweener. Rook takes bishop. The knight is pinned. There is no knight takes bishop. And everything falls. Resign time. Resign time. It's a resign time. King takes, rook takes, king here. And pick your favorite way to win it. Oh, gorilla. Okay, the penguin goes down. The salty one is back on the winning on the winning end. All right. So, bishops only. Tiny better. Tiny better. <laughs> Tiny, tiny plus for white, I think, just because of the structure. C4 versus C6. The strong queen is now, it sticks out. Take with the rook, there's bishop h6, so you have to work with an isolated pawn. Rook takes is possible? No. Oh, you totally, hmm. An attack against the queen. Fancy. Wow, that is fancy. Queen g6, rook here. And then there's going to be a problem. Oh, man. Oh, that was so fast. 
Wow, was that fast. Oh, well, you have to be careful here, too. Queen F3. Hmm. Slippery king. Take with the pawn. And now, I think the king is going to be safe for a move, and that's all. Oh, this, this is a problem, isn't it? Perpetuals. Oh, rook there first is nice. Very nice. Not even a... Yeah. This is better. Team black, obviously. Queen versus rook. Got a little too fancy there. Hmm. There is this check. Oh, the rook block. King here, you promote and defend. Fancy. Very fancy. Yeah, rook up. The king needs to be able to come over here. Got it. You got to get out of this pressure. Okay, it's going to be a time. Time thing. Look at the clocks. Careful. Oh, he went right into mate. Oh, he had his chances on the uh, with the mouse. Okay, in first is Rebecca Harris by a point and has fire. In fact, Rebecca Harris hasn't lost a single game. I think a draw or two in there. Baba Ramdev, next opponent with some space. Pawn going to be one back. Knight here, and if I could draw. Okay, the material is back. How to challenge this guy. What's that about? Queen b3. Fancy. In between her. Yeah, knight d6 check. <laughs> Doesn't even want the bishop setting up discoveries to win the queen. Nice. White is definitely better here. Bishop is short on squares. Keep this file opened. And take with the bishop, huh? Yeah, pawn takes. Trying to peel, peel open this diagonal. Look at the center. King has shelter on h7 if there's enough time. He's going to make a run for it, but yeah. His pieces are all cluttered. f7 is a focal point. Let's see. Every, yeah, looking on black side, everything's pointed at that knight on d6. Have to really work around that guy. Securing the bishop, I guess, with h5. Don't have to worry about h h5 by white. f7, still under fire. Maybe queen c4, queen f3. Queen e3, pressure on c5. This guy going to fall? Yes. Time. Big time edge. Queen is gone. Could take here. In the end, you get the rook. Well, this shouldn't... Well, this knight's a little bit annoying. Don't want to allow the rook to get over here. I always make it a little easy. Take out the knight. Yeah, take out the knight now. Win the rook and pawn endgame. Go after the pawn. Offer rook exchange. Pick your favorite way to do it. Get behind the pawn. And yeah, plenty of plenty of ticks left. Perfect coordination. King's gonna hide behind the pawn. Uh, it's not really a good position to be in here where there's all these different checks. Get that rook off, and then you could pre-move like crazy. Mate in two. There it is with 1.6 left. Wow. Okay. And with that, he is bumped up to first. 37. Rebecca Harris took one loss. Finally. Half hour into this tournament, if you only have one loss, you're doing you're doing a lot right. <laughs> Okay, Alexander Zubov, 15th, second time playing against Zubov in this tournament. So, what to note? White is better. It's a nice grip on this square. Mm, bishop back and then focus on the e5 square. Now elim eliminate pieces that are controlling the e5 square. Might has to look for some tactical opportunities with the opened f-file. Wants to exchange the bishop for knight. Going to get that? Yes. Otherwise, this could just be a dummy piece. White is still better here, I believe. This knight is magnificent. I have to be careful on the g-file. Hmm. <laughs> Double up, there might be this. 
First pause for white. Pressure on h7. King's prepared to run. The rook can fend off things with f2. Block and queen g2, rook f2. Still trying to get at the king. White or black is better now. Up some material. You get the queens off. Yeah, if the king went here, there's a check. Black's going to have a little bit of fun now. Okay. He's banking some material. Yeah. He could go here and be passive for a little bit. Well, he's just getting behind this pawn. He's going to run. Offer a queen exchange. It's a one rook and pawn ending. Rook takes pawn. The rooks are exchanged. We're going to have a resign. A resign. A resign. Okay, we are only 30 minutes into the tournament. 39 with fire. 38, 34, 32. Where's Penguin? Penguin's at an 8th with 30 with fire. Duel Master, next opponent. Player in 4th. Not sure who uh, Duel Master is. No, no country listed. Okay. Early H5, huh? Break a pin. Knight E6. Knight D4. Knight d4 it is. h5 is in. Knight on e5 cannot be maintained. Black staying off of that uh, this advance with tempo. I'm surprised we haven't seen Rebecca Harris versus the salty one. The salty one. <laughs> uh, I imagine we'll be getting that pairing at some point. f4. Nice square for a knight. Gives up the exchange. Careful. E6 is a threat. Hitting the rook, hitting the bishop. This is a very strong piece. It should be challenged. Here and then there. Now, this is a tough structure to try and break down. White's going to have a nice square for that knight. Hmm. I kind of like white here, even though... Even though black is up the exchange, especially with this passer, the rooks are not contributing. Knight takes or bishop takes. This king could play a really active role. Yeah, he's just he's getting rid of this. This is too 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 valuable. White is the better side. Let's defend this guy. If you push, oh, you could take and then take here. Yeah. Oh, look at the clock. You maybe get this pawn. It'd be a different story. White isn't giving any material. This rook might be kind of stuck. There is this little back and forth. Let's see if black goes for something more. Oh, hang on. Whoa, why not just go after this guy? Is there another glitch? Oh, he's going to get this pawn. Oh, it's with check. I missed that it was with check. Rook, The knight takes the rook with check. Yeah, and this is this is smooth. This pawn is going to fly. Queen in a blink. And just like that, no material for Team Black. King is running for his life. And it's a resigner. The salty one goes down. Rebecca Harris is in first. A tie for first. 39-39. Hang on, Knight King is at 36 with fire. Okay. Here we are, another game. Still an hour 26 to go. Fork. This is backward development. Lead in development here for white. Castle queenside, kingside. Queenside it is. You can see both ways, really. The bishop's a good defender for the king. Yeah, just opening up some lines. Ooh! What was that about? Okay, that wasn't that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> you missed that the, the knight was on the queen. Maybe expecting the knight to go to d7 instead of in the center. That was probably it. He was in pre-move mode. Not a good pre-move. What kind of magic are we going to have here? Knight on f6 is close to mate, if only. Maybe there's a helpmate here and then knight in the corner. Knight f6, mate. There might be something on h7. Mm. No. 
It's not happening. I don't see it. Pawn takes would be the a big blunder. Yeah, now the rook is going to fall with that check. A resigner. Salty one goes down. All right, MSB2. MSB2 won their first encounter. Salty one is in third. Let's see. IQP position. You would like to have a dark square bishop exchange and then camp out on d4. Black's not even going to allow that. d4 is in. Now it's white who has a weak structure. c3. Win some material. Take the knight out. Yeah. You could play... Hmm. You know, I, was, I was thinking here, bishop takes pawn and then this, but there's rook d3 to defend. White rook is very active. Material be balanced. And he's going for mate. Forcing the rook on the defensive. And only then rook c6. This guy going to get rolling. Yeah, eventually you have to challenge this bishop. I think it's too awkward to keep the rook devoted to the defense of the back rank. There will not be a draw here. Oh, the rook is gone. Missed that. Maybe he wanted to go to d3. It could have been a mouse slip. Okay, with that, Night King is in first. 44 with fire. Salty 141, Rebecca Harris 39, Opper is in there. Okay. Shrek David, next opponent. 19th place. I am from... Who knows? Okay. What do you take with here? Knight, yeah. Keep the structure as is. Oh, you don't want to block, huh? Huh. <laughs> All right, I would have played bishop c6. That's interesting to me. Hmm. Just castle by hand. No problem. <laughs> so cool, right? King f8, no problems. I got this. Bishop takes knight. Oh, the king is fighting. Maintain the knight. Pick up a pawn. No, not quite. How do you get these pawns rolling? The knight wants to be on this square. Okay, so the knight will be around to shelter the king. Queen's off. Technical. Hmm. A rook exchange? I thought I thought putting the rook on the b-file was better. Okay. King needs to play. Both kings need to play. h4. Majorities get rolling. Okay. I don't know. How do you how do you how do you win this for either side? Watch out for this guy. I think you just hold this tension. Hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's how you get something brewing. An outside passer. Yeah, now now things fall. Uh, this guy's gonna fall, this guy's gonna fall. Look at they're they're lined up. The knight is loving that. Twelve seconds though. Okay, we're gonna see something fancy here. We're gonna be we're gonna see something tricky. The knight's gonna land a fork, or there's gonna be some We're not gonna see the pawn push. Black's gonna try to keep the knight on. Ooh. White resigned that. Huh. I don't know, but I don't know. I would have I would have played that one out. <laughs> that, was, that was a weird resign. Okay, Night King is in first with 48. WGM is the opponent. Look at this. You see, this is what I was talking I'm talking about. Look at this. So weird these openings, yeah? E5 and G5. Saying, come get me. Go ahead. Just try to do something on F5. I dare you. White's 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 angling for it. It's a, it's a big gap. Black's not going to go kingside, though. This is the plan. Shut down the bishop. Close the center. Uh-huh. So this, this guy is going to maybe be redeployed. He, he doesn't want to stare at his own pawn for forever, and I don't think that this is a desirable pawn break. Ooh, there goes d3. Uh, queen here. Offer an exchange if rook there. Queen there. Ah, queen c4. There's no rook c1. 
Square is covered. No great break. Rook up. Pins. This queen is feeling the heat. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have allowed that kind of break. Oh, okay. Rook is off, and then, and then you take here. No problems. Notice the the reason for that king move earlier. In case things open up, there isn't a queen a8 move. Yeah, this is fine now. Queens are going to be off. Bishop pair. Hang on to this pawn. No, just go on the offensive. <laughs> Pin the knight. That's how you defend the pawn. Take him out. Take him out. Yeah, there's no great way to get out of the pin. Rook here, rook there, or here. Yeah, resigner. This knight is going down. Can't get out of that pin. No great way to do it. Knight king, 48, 47, 46, 43. That's where we're at. The salty one is in second. Wow. Okay, we're one. We're 40 minutes in, call it. NM Smurf 2. Uh, Smurf 42. Huh. Smurf 42 didn't always have a, a title. Okay. There is a title now. And uh, what did I miss? Yeah, white is, white is up a pawn here. A big one. That is a big pawn. That's the way out of the pin. Knight f4. Queen takes pawn as a threat. Not now, because of knight takes bishop. Just going to play on the open e file. Mm -hmm. This is this is very easy to play for white. Oh, look at this. Fancy. Knight threat. Push. Ooh. He had, does not want to allow this, this knight to be exchanged for the bishop. Is the queen dead? No, not quite. Oh, okay. I guess after a queen moves, there's this. There's a lot of good stuff. Okay. A resigner. 52, 51, 50. All with fire. Check that. 47. Top four with fire. Opper is in third. All right. Let's see what we get here. This is a big one. The winner of this goes up four. Four big points. So what was, th this was a Berlin, I missed the beginning, uh, repositioning to C4. Majorities, four versus three on the king side for white, four versus three for black on the queen side, healthy four versus three for white. I hang up the D5 square. Also this square, rook exchange and then bishop or knight takes pawn is the threat. To do this is to weaken this square. And, yeah, we're going to have some accident happening soon here for Team Black. Finding a safe square for the king. Where is that safe square? <laughs> he just resigned. It has to go into a discover check next, wherever the king goes. Wow. Okay, Night King 96. Not sure if Night King has fire. He does have fire. This is another big game. Okay, number one versus number two. Hunting for a bishop. No bishop. No exchange just yet. Hmm. Queen takes knight as a threat. Take advantage of the pin? No, there's, there's enough security here. This file is opening up, but you can't really make use of it, and I think uh, white is out of any issue with this pin. Wants a bishop exchange, wants the e6 square for the queen so the knight can finally move. This bishop is going to be better than this one if this knight could, this knight could move. Wants to get at that b2 square. b3 probably? Get out of this? Or maybe a queen move? Get out of that? A lot of time. Oh, a connection issue. Oh, that's, that's a... That's not good. <laughs> That's not a, a well-timed uh, Comcast Gambit. The Night King got hit with a Comcast Gambit, maybe. Okay, Comcast Gambit got Night King. Mmm. That's going to put the salty one in first with 59. Comcast Gambit. Night King goes down. 59 fire, 56, 50, 47. All right, we're at 115 left in this tournament. Godzilla. Next opponent. 
FM, who is currently in 43rd. Hmm. Okay, D5 or not. Oh. Weird, man. Some weird, weird early pawn moves. Okay, gonna play this down upon. This knight could get, you know, sectioned off. H6, G5, he's stranded over here on H6. How do you challenge this pawn? F3, you could still get this in, though. Hmm. Right there, bishop there. Open file, dark square bishops off. That's a big pawn to lose. Careful. Tr he's trying to get rid of that rook. Isn't the rook trapped? Queen here? How do you save the rook? <laughs> he even gives up a pawn. Who cares about this pawn? Yeah, the rook was out of, out of squares. That knight was going to be too strong. Look at how quickly the exchange was given right back, just recognizing the strength of the knight on f4, close to the king. Is it any good? Who knows? Who would know that? Mate on h2. And knight here. Oh, is that a backbreaker? Oh, it is a backbreaker. There's going to be a mate. Queen. Queen mate. This square is controlled by the bishop. That's game over. If the king went here, still game over. Rook on the e1 square. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Okay, 63 with fire. 56, 52, 51. 1 hour, 13. Remaining. MSB2. 50%. Game 3. Between these guys. MSB2. Who is MSB2? Not sure who that is. Okay, something simple. No dark square bishop exchange. Knight here is a blunder. Tactics 101. Okay, you're looking for a central break. Can't do it just yet. This hits with check. Bishop back and then e4? Yes, here we go. e4 is finally in there. Yay or nay? No, not yet. Why not? <laughs> oh, all right. And you're going to win a pawn at the end of this. Yeah, this this should be clean. Hmm. Okay, white is still the better side being up now. Well, two pawns. And you're not getting rid of this pawn at the end. How do you break that down? The king's going to bolt towards the center. You could get the rooks off. Stop the king. Yeah. A resigner. That was fast. 67 with fire. 56, 55. Top three. Opper, 52. Rebecca Harris, 6th, 47. Ali Reza I see in there as well. Okay, another game. Bishop for knight exchange. Hmm. Okay. We really like a knight on e4 as black. It's not... That, that knight was taken out. This knight's going to drift where there are some holes. Nice shelter. Could be supported with a bishop. Wow. Bishop pair versus knight pair. That was a big threat. And now what? Let's double up, looking at the c8 square. Reinforce e5. It's a static structure. Knights are strong. King is prepared to bolt in case something happens over here. Both kings are ready to bolt. Queen goes too far. There's rook takes bishop. Rook takes bishop. And then queen takes pawn. Saw it. That's game over. It's going to drop the farm with check. Queen takes pawn. Check. Queen takes rook. Check. 71 with fire. An hour 11 to go. Opper again. Uh, yeah. Car um, well, <laughs> the salty one is uh, the only one with fire. Top four. Five. Again, we see this g4 move. Who did this against uh, the salty one first time? I, that was Grandmaster Arca, who went down fast. It's down a rook in a blink. Now, how do you take? With the pawn? Taking with the bishop, these guys get rolling. Fancy. Pawn takes. Bishop takes. Getting in here. No, thank you. 
The knight has declined. Queen exchange has declined. Black does not want this knight anywhere in his house. Saying, go away. He's gone away, and now I think black is just the better side. This knight's going to hop in here. There's going to be a serious problem on B2. Whew, this is a magnificent piece. This is a big piece. Right now, staring at a pawn, this knight, these guys all have a... Uh, uh, all coordinated really well. Oh, we're going to have a perpetual? No. Black doesn't want that. Wants more. Queen b6, f2, and the bishop are under fire. You take that pawn out. Some nice checks. He's going after the queen. Is the queen dead? No. b2 is under fire now. Dark squares are weakened. Slip in with the bishop. At some point. Opposite sides castles. King security is there. Knight is under fire. Knight is under fire again. Picking up a pawn. Is there a way out? Check. There's rook here. Counter punch. Bishop might be going down. It is going down. But there, there's got to be something good here for black, I would think. Check. King's going to hide. No, the knight's going to block. Oh, he's getting something. A knight check. A bishop check. The king is hiding. The rook is gone. The knight is gone. Oh, look at the queen. <laughs> Oh, she's so far away from doing anything exciting. There is no perpetual. A rat race? A check? Perpetual? No, the bishop guards this square. Two seconds? Oh, that's mate. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea what happened in that game. That was wild. Whatever just happened there, it was wild. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Ah, oh, these are these are too much fun. Settle down. Settle down. Oh, man. Careful. You want to develop the bishop? The knight is cooked. Oh, boy. This is broken. This structure is broken. Oh, man. What is happening here? These knights are killers. <laughs> wow. Wow, are these knights killers. Oh, man. On a rampage. Okay. Well, this guy has beaten the salty one a couple. No. One and a half. Out of two. What? Slipped up. Went after one pawn too many. Oh, there is a check there. Fancy. He's still trying to defend that knight. It's kind of important. Could push, yeah. No, if push, there's rook takes knight because of a pin. White has to be content with giving up two pieces for the rook. Just fine. Deflect the bishop away. Still going to get that square. What a game this one is. Uh, yeah, you start to improve the king. That was probably a slip. He meant this. Yeah, that was... that was He meant king to b2. There's no way. You improve the king and stop the rook activity. Killer bees. Yeah, this is this is winning for Team White. For sure. Looking for mates. Sneaky. No good defense. Miners cover everything. King here is not a defense. Yeah. Rook A1 next. Black knows it. Throws in the towel. 79 with fire. 22 point edge. That was the number two guy he just played. Okay. Who do we have next? Ali Reza. Okay. Young grandmaster from Iran. The Dutch on board. Okay. Nice center for Team Black. Hmm. Get this pawn, and you win. White's going to have to stir up some trouble. F3 is right around the corner. Has to be played. Doesn't want the pawn too early. Could be in an uncomfortable pin. Queen h4, queen h4. Rook here. These pieces are wonderful. Bishop g3 now lined up. Sacrifices close by. He's calculating something. <laughs> Okay, the pawn is gone, and I think with it, the game. Yeah, 
backward development as well for Team White. Throws in the towel. 17 moves in. Wow. Well, he is back on streak. If you haven't noticed, that's it's like 10. 10 plus. Alexander Zubov. Okay. Third time playing against Zubov. Oh. Um, is there some glitch here? Or is that just a mouse slip? That must have been just a mouse slip. Yeah, it's looking like a mouse slip. <laughs> there, was a, there was a glitch earlier with that. Uh, there was a pawn on e5. And it wasn't appearing. Okay, yeah. Bishop b4 was the was the plan. Queen takes... Ooh. What's the story here? Still down a piece. All right. If, if Carlson gets this one, that would be stunning. There's no great way to improve from here. White's fighting against this move. Yeah, and the rook is actually dead after a3. So a mouse slip resulting in a loss in that one. Still an hour four to go. 241 are entered in here. Here we go. First time these two are clashing. Rebecca Harris. Let's see. Getting the pawn back. White has a majority in the center. At some point it could get rolling. It's quiet at the moment. Rook on a half open file. Pressure here. King here. There is a check. Multiple checks. Pieces are drifting towards the king now. C5 is sensitive. White is better here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, four caroni. Bank some material. Is the queen short on squares? Yes. There is There is h5. These knights cover a lot. Knights and a couple pawns. Sacrifice here. And saving the b2 pawn first. Sacrifice on this square, possibly. That can be nearby. Hmm. This pawn's going to fall. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a big pawn. Some some weaknesses. White's going to try and work with it now. There's a half open file. Knight takes knight, the queen falls. No, 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 no. Rook is there defending the queen. Look at the look at the clocks. 12 seconds. Oh man. Wow. 30 seconds to 13. Oh, I don't know. I don't I don't see how white wins this one. No, no. You could time burn your way to victory if you really wanted to. If you really wanted to. Yeah. Seven seconds now. Is the knight dead? Oh my god, the knight is dead. How did that happen? <laughs> I still take black here. Yeah, there's these, uh, these fancy checks. If you could get the rook off, you know, black's not going to allow that. Four seconds. Black is... Too fast. 2.8. You have to be a pre-move magician to win this one as white. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. Yeah, just way too back on the... On the clock. That queen takes e2 really shattered the kingside structure. Little Plotkin is berserking the salty one. Hmm. Okay. Wow, there was a huge time difference in that one. 30 seconds to 12, I think, at one point. Wow. Okay. F4 and E5 nearby. The knight has to find a new home. Queen E2. Knight there. Hmm? A little scary. This knight needs to get out of there fast. Not going. Okay, careful. Already sensing some problems on the H file. Bishop, by the way, King G2. Look at how fast. Queen here still? Oh, this is a problem. No, it's not. <laughs> Queen takes G4. Everything's cool. We got it. We're just going to be a trading machine. And, oh, that is checkmate. H7 is covered. Okay, if I could draw. If I could draw. Where are we at? 85, 65, 64, 60. Where's the penguin? He's at 54. Rebecca Harris again. Okay. 
The Dutch. What's with the Dutch? See, many of these players probably don't know their, uh, well, no, they probably know by now that this new, that this new account is, is Carlson. Well, what do we say here? There won't be any castle kingside. Could defend queen h2, bishop g7. This is better for team white. White's going to castle queenside. Hmm. Hit a piece on this uh, d4 square. How do you do that, though? Yeah, this is this is scary. This pawn is important, I believe, to fend off this this diagonal. Get the knight to one of these two. King is hiding. Wow, that's a big decision. Giving up the bishop for the knight there. Opposite color bishops. Material is now balanced. <sighs> Too fast. Too fast. That's the threat. Take a pawn, take a bishop. Bishop takes, you could even take here. Uh, double check. Whoo. That's a killer move. This diagonal is brutal. Has to part ways with the knight. Where's the safe square? Not a good, not a safe square. King is going to step up. Even on the clock, 17 each. Yeah. It's looking good for Rebecca Harris. The king is ready to bolt. He needs to. Oh. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Rook check. The queen is there. Hang on. You really want to go there, but you can't. 6.7. Okay, a rat race. Yeah. Oh, he tried to sneak it in. He's not. It's not going to go. <laughs> he tried one quick move. Two for two for Rebecca Harris. 85, 69, 68. Three out of the last four games have been a loss. Alexander Zubov. 58 minutes to go. Black is up a pawn in this one. Tell you what. That's the one game... That's the one pairing that is very difficult for me to keep up with. Holy cow. Rebecca Harris versus the salty one. <laughs> wow. They just fly. That was that was tough. Really tough. Things change so fast. Okay. I was thinking that. That would that would not be good going into a pin. Black's up two pawns. Two big ones. Queen takes here. Gonna bank some material. Can you get away with taking the rook? Probably not. Queen takes queen is on the rook. Gotta defend. Maybe now you do that. No. Yeah, this should be clean now. Pushing through. We're gonna have a resigner. And then he's gonna play out a little bit. 21 seconds is a lot. Up a full piece. Mm -hmm. If you take here, king there. The knight is in trouble. He's going to play it out. Doubled up on the clock. Oh, that's 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 a good one. Not giving up the pawn. Yeah, this is clean now. Shouldn't even see nine seconds. Mate, 11 left. Okay. 87, 70, 69. Knight King and Rebecca Harris are very close. This is not sealed by any means. 87, 17, 87, 70, 69. Not yet in a game. Okay, here we go. Another one. C3. Oh, fancy. Knight A3 to C2. Cozy. Cozy Knights. Big center for white or for black. And Queenside Castle. Queenside Castles it is. Kind of to be expected when you race that pawn up there like that. You don't want to demote the rook. You want to have this possibility, maybe a capture, maybe a push. 
has some has some lifts. Anyhow, this piece could use some improvement. F5 break, opposite sides castles. There's gonna be an F file and a B file opened up soon. Now check that the the knight files are opened up. Space. Doesn't want to give this square up to the white pieces. So maneuvering. Get a piece here and you win. Here we go. Knight on the square. Petrosian would be proud. Any pawn advance and uh yeah, lock it down. H3. A sacrifice here at some point. Maybe double up. No, he's just gonna jump right in. And then take here. Take here and then take there. Well, you could take here now. I think both ways are cool. A check. The king is pulled back over. And now with this right around the corner, white's going to throw in the towel? No. Continues. A knight into h4. Yeah, this is this is a problem. Maybe, maybe bishop here? Yeah, bishop there in the knight h4. No, no, no. Knight f4. Ah, knight f4. That's a backbreaker. That should be game over. Queen is gone. And Pac-Man mode. Pick your favorite pawn to take. Pick one, any one. Clock is not an issue here. Just don't step up with your rook. You don't wanna you don't wanna get in mate. Rook takes. Be a blunder. Because of the back rank. Yeah, just just safeguard the king. Fancy. It's going to take the rook. Yeah, that works. Pushing through. Five seconds is plenty. Okay, a W. 89 with fire now. 73, 72. 53 minutes to go. Rebecca Harris again. I should probably just sh shut up and watch this game because I don't have anything constructive to say ever when <laughs> these two play. <laughs> Get ready for a chaotic game. Oh, okay. White's up a pawn. That's all I could manage. Just uh, keep track of the just keep track of the material. Let that be your focus for this one game. Just make let's see if you can keep track of who's ahead material wise. Start there, and then we'll think about saying some other stuff. <laughs> oh God. Okay. How do you get out of a pin? That's uncomfortable. This is not a resource because there's a counter punch. Bishop f7. That's why there's a think. The knight is under some fire. Now that was one fancy way to get out of it, but it took a lot of time to come up with that. Whew. Okay, well, got out of that little bind. <laughs> queen, queen b5 hitting that bishop. It's become a bit more technical now. There is no fear of... A knight getting pushed around. This pawn could fall if g6 is in. Okay, there is a passer now. It's going to get rolling. 21 seconds. c5. Nearby f5 is prepped. Knight has to find a new home. Yeah, careful of this pawn. A rook off. Oh, we're getting some material. Which Which do you take? Takes the exchange. Save the rook. A rook exchange. This is the same scenario as the last time they played. A bishop and rook versus two rooks. But there's more, more gas left in the tank here for white this time. And it's going to be a win for white. Whew. There in time for mate. Okay, he knows it's coming. Checkmate next. Rebecca Harris resigned. First loss for Rebecca Harris in in three games against Salty. Okay, 51 minutes left, 93 with fire, 74, 73, 64. Ali Reza. Ali Reza resigned after 17 moves in their first encounter. Against a Dutch, I believe that was. Yeah. Let's see, this one... It's probably going to be a bit longer. More. A little bit more slow. Or is it? To, may have to reassess here. F5. H5. F4, you take the knight. It's not trapped. This is collapsing. 
on the king's side. Whoa. Oh, well, that's fancy. Ha! Huh. I love that move. Bishop a7 says, no, I don't want this file to open up. Just take my bishop for free. I don't want to give you that kind of play. So now the king is going to tuck in over here. a3, king a2, now picks up a pawn. Now white is just the better side. It's just how it is. Has really beautiful squares to work with. Queens could be exchanged. Doesn't want to take here so fast because it improves the knight into d4. So now, yeah, I just want to get rid of that. Ooh, that was probably not a good idea to give up that big pawn. Missed that. Picks up the exchange, though. Going to give it back? Nope. This pawn is running. f5 is a nice square. Knight going to be taken out? No, he's going after the bishop. Nice. That's a nice move. Yeah, and, oh, actually, forget about it. The queen is trapped with that. <laughs> there is no good square for the queen. And if there was, the bishop falls. Anyhow, that one's over. And 97 with fire. Yep, still going with the same setup. Is he just doing this against uh, Salty? He's <laughs> knights on c2 and f2. These aren't quite the four center squares that are controlled with the knights like this. That's a different story. So where where's the white king going to go? I wonder. Where's the, where's the safe shelter? Okay, here it is. Black is just better though. To be expected with this uh this kind of fancy stuff with the knight. Okay. Queen g3. Why can you not take that? Yeah. <laughs> Blind spot there. Yeah, missed something. I don't think that's a good pawn to be giving up. And the queen is short on squares. <laughs> this knight is actually a fantastic defender. Yeah. That knight is a really good defender in this position. Give him that. For sure. But now, the bishop's going to have to move. It cannot be defended directly. What? Oh, okay. Bishop takes knight and then queen takes knight is the idea. Uh, in the end, there's f3. Oh, and taking that out first. Two minor pieces versus the rook. Oh, boy. Look at this knight. Absolute monster. Close to mate, isn't it? It's calculating a mate. Here. And then here. Yeah, here it is. It's going to be game over. Plenty of, plenty of ticks on the clock. This should be a resigner. Spawn's bolting. 14 seconds to 7. A resigner. Okay, and with that. Did I jump over too fast? Okay, yeah, I did. 101 with fire. 76, 75, 66. Not in a game yet. Penguin is at 62. No game just yet. 47 minutes to go. Night King 96, number one versus number two. Okay. Hmm. Bodvinik system for white. F4 soon. King H2, typical stuff. Maybe prepare. F4 with bishop E3 first. Okay, where's this rook go in this position? An E and F pawn battle, for starters. This knight could jump in at any moment. It's a strong square. A lot of stuff around supporting this maneuver. Black is prepared to give the knight a kick. If it arrives on that square. It's going uh, elsewhere. Going hunting. Got a push. Win a pawn. White is up a pawn now. Has a safer king, I think. No, I don't know if I could say that. I don't know. Hmm. They're losing something here, no? The knight moves. This guy falls. No, the queen is there. That's That was the idea. The queen moved with check to defend the knight. Black is up the exchange. White has a pawn for it. How to improve here? Black should be the better side. 
Hmm. Yeah, black is the better side here. Up a clean exchange. Not a lot of time, though. Ooh, 13 seconds to 30. Whoa. What was that? That must have been a mouse slip. Queen e7 was intended. Not sure what queen e7 would be doing, but okay. Probably some crazy mouse slip there. 101. 84. 77. Ali Reza again. Third time. Let's see what we get here. Peace play. A simple center. Good center. The piece is playing. Offer dark square bishop exchange. Centralize the rooks first. No, go straight in for the dark square bishop exchange. Now this knight is in maybe some trouble. The knight moves, h7 falls. This is something normally would want to avoid. Black is in a pretty serious pickle, I think. Sacrifices here. Oh, fancy. And he's not going to even take this straight away. So the queen does defend f7. It's not leading to mate if the knight falls. Black's prepared to take the knight out. Ah, ah, nice defense. Queen f8. I like that maneuver. Try to remember that one. Yeah, very good. That was some nice defense there by Black. Black is now up a pawn. And up on the clock, 35 to 24. Mm, he's going to get some material now. Rook is hit. Knight f6 is there. He doesn't have to take it just yet. He is going to. And then bang some more material. Going to go after this pawn, possibly. Checks. These pawns can be fast. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hang on, hang on. Oh, that's a problem. He missed this counterattacking move. He's going to go for some checks. Yeah, this is a win for Team Black. Nice, nice advance there with those pawns, C and D pawns. The knight around to assist. Yeah, white resigned. Could always go here and then give up the queen for a rook and win. Okay, we're going to have the knights here. <laughs> Just takes the knight out that time. I'm not even allowing you to go to that a C2 square. I've had enough of your little uh, fancy setup. Knight on f2 and c2. Okay. A good structure for team black. c4 is a focal point. It's a hole. Wow. Okay. Just, <laughs> I don't know. I would not have considered that to repair the structure like that. Did not want that light square bishop around, I guess. Okay, two files to work with. This is a good square. Bishop versus knight. How can you work with this pawn? Securing the king first. At some point, maybe you take here and then go there. Rook, rook right here right now. Maybe this diagonal. Okay, black is definitely the better side. This is the threat. Winning the rook. It's in there now. Check. Oh, he missed that. Queen here, I think, picked up the rook. Maybe it was a mouse slip. Maybe he wanted to go here. Yeah, I think that was a mouse slip. This seemed much more sensible on an open file. Black remains better. Better rooks. Better bishop. Better queen. <laughs> uh, it's almost going to make a bad joke there. Okay, this pawn's gonzo, or a push. Hmm. Push, and then here, counterattack. 12 seconds each. Wow. Push. King has to go to g2. Ah, fancy, fancy, fancy. Nice tactic. Black is better here. On the clock and position. Take this guy first. And now it's squeaky clean. This guy's going next. Yeah, down on time. Okay, whew, that was a fast pairing. Zavin Grozny, 007. What a 
What a name. Okay, e6, knight e7. That's different. Allowing h6, huh? No h6 by black. Space. Black doesn't care about this pawn. Says go ahead. Wants this move in. Bishop e6, okay. This structure kills the knight. When is this move going to be played? Let's find out. Where's the white king going to go? Be careful, this, this diagonal doesn't open up. Pawn hunting. Wow. <laughs> Takes on a3 and then offers a dark square bishop exchange. The queen's in some trouble. Perpetual against the queen if you want it. Wants more? Going to play on? Perpetual? Yeah, perpetual against the queen. Repetition of position. Draw on board. No fire. 104.89. Rebecca Harris. 86. Night King. Penguin. 74. Okay. Whoop. Another game, another game, MSB2, under 40, 40 minutes to go. Okay. IQB position? Yes. And what next? And pawn is gone. Nice. Very nice sequence there. Bank some material, and now it's it's clean. Bishop pair advantage as well. Improve the king. Just your, your typical stuff at this stage. King improvement here. Hunt down the pawn. It's too easy at that point. 106. 93, 83. Rebecca Harris has fire and is only 13 back. This is a big game. A win here for Rebecca Harris would be huge. Wow. All right, let's see what we get here. Another crazy game, I'm sure. Strategic. F5, E5. Which will it be? Uh, this is very good for for white. Some nice squares to work with. Hmm. This guy has ever taken c6 is amazing. Yeah, these knights are strong. The bishop pair doesn't really thrive in this position. Notice the pawns all around to control this unopposed bishop. Queen is there defending the knight. I think maybe that's something Black missed or just knew that the position needed to open up some uh, somehow in order to free the bishops. Uh, knight arriving here is going to pick up some material. Now how to convert this in a clean way. Seven seconds. Advantage for Rebecca Harris. Of six at some point. There is a passer. You could take the rook. Knight is cooked. How to save the knight? Just drop all the way back. The knight is dead. He's just going to give it up. This is cleaner. Going after a pawn. Bishop takes. You're in a pin. Queen exchange. You lose this. Yeah, now it's clean. There's only one square you have to watch out for. Some kind of battery here. This pawn races. This should be clean enough. Bishop exchange next. Yeah, the pawn's bolting. Check. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that was not good. Oh, this is a big problem. Or is it? Oh, God. Oh, man. And the queen's gone? The queen's gone. Black's going to win this. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That is a big game. 106, 97, 92. Two, both with fire, nine points back with 36 minutes to go. Oh, that one definitely slipped away. Oh, that he might be a little on tilt here. He might be a little salty after that game. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, the opening doesn't indicate any, you know, you can't necessarily say salty. Or can you? If it started out with H4, H5, then, then we could claim salt. We could claim a little bit of salt there. Assault. 
<laughs> careful. Careful. Watch out for H2 and H7. Okay. It's going all in. Shoving pawns. Saying, take me. Careful. Is the knight, can the knight jump in? Okay, now he's going to back up. The timing isn't there. The G-file is going to open up. Here we go. Knight takes knight. Oh, a missed opportunity. Not a missed opportunity. It is there. Mate next on H7. A poor move for black is what I meant to say. Black threw in the towel. A fast win. 108-97-92. Rebecca Harris? No. Okay. The old man. First time playing against the old man. Jules Musar, I believe. Okay. Preserve the bishop. Is he going to go? Yeah, that pawn is just too strong if it gets to h6, so you have to do something ugly. Maybe give the pawn back, yeah, and say, let's play on the g-file. Very nice. Knight is headed for a uh, h4. <laughs> White really wants that pawn there. Okay, he might just go down at some point. And Z, okay, Goner. And, yeah, black is, black is better here. Up a pawn, the rooks will be fast. Double, ooh, actually. Forget about it, the bishop is falling. Okay, another fast one. Fire for the top two, 110.97. Don't blink, you just missed the first six, seven moves there. This pawn could be a problem to defend, no? This bishop elsewhere? Could very well fall. I think it is going to fall. It's a gunner. Okay, white is better. Hmm. It's uncomfortable. The knight moves. This falls. This falls. It's going back home. This guy falls. White is still up upon. Nice squares for the bishops. Not so much the knight. Good challenge. A3 is a nice move. This knight needs a square. Wow. Things are happening so fast. White, I believe, remains the better side. Yeah. These rooks are very active. Okay, now that pawn is a gunner. Can you find a safe square for the rook? You can. Second rank. 30 seconds for Team White. Time edge. One rook off, well, in the end, this pawn is going to fall. He's going for an exchange. Oh, it's more than that. Knight f3. It's going to get the exchange back. Yeah, or the rook. There's this with the discovered check. The exchange will be one back and a pawn. Throws in the towel, maybe also with an eye on the clock. Rebecca Harris slipped up. Is that 99? 114, 99, 92. Rebecca Harris again. Okay, look at the score between these two. Three to one. That's big. Okay. Yeah, it should, oh, that last one. Yeah. That should have, uh, shouldn't have went down like that. Okay. Got to watch out for D5. D6 is under fire. Just getting out of a pin. Wow. Maybe get an F4 with tempo. That's what's lined up. Or maybe or maybe a consolidating move. No, more aggressive. Once once D6. Okay, better a better structure going after A7 now. Yeah, C5 is falling. Okay, this is better for white being up the material. See pawns racing. Queen is magnificent on d5. Look at how fast that passer moves. Okay, <laughs> this is similar. This is similar last game right here. Pawn here. Dark square bishops. Just two rooks are also competing in this game. Even on the clock, call it. Yeah, now this is going to be a problem. Checks. There was a mate threat on g2. Careful. How to get one rook off? <laughs> some, some dancing queen variation. What is she doing? Okay, how do you get one rook off? Okay, there's a little, been a lot of back and forth there. 
one rook off. <laughs> Complicated now. This isn't one, this is not how you want to, this is not the clean approach. But I think it's, it's still going to be good enough here. You're there just in time. Okay, how to pick up some some rook? Where's the loose piece? Still not clean. It's a rat race. Queen takes pawn. Check. Another check. On. Two seconds. Point 0.9. Oh, he's down on time. Oh, man. He's going to be really salty for this next game. He's going to be extra salty. His name might actually just change. <laughs> to extra salty. Let's see. I, I predict H4 or H5. H4, the start of this next game. Or maybe. Okay, here we go. Something crazy. H5. He's salty. He's not moving straight away. He's salty. Oh, he's salty. He's still cool. He's cooling off right now. E6. That's the salt right there. <laughs> oh, the French defense. E6. That's how you know. That's how you know. Anyhow, I got a little silly. Uh, a little bit more silly than usual. Oh, man. I tell you what. Those have to be painful. I just... I know. I know that those must be painful. <laughs> oh, man. Rebecca Harris. What is that? That's four to one in favor of Rebecca Harris. Okay. Whew. That's a threat. Mm. Even material wise. This is a problem. Yeah, we could win some material. No, not quite. Not quite. Huh. What next? Yeah, that's fancy. Oh, wasn't there wasn't there rook takes there first? <laughs> King here drops the rook. Strong king. Down upon, but more active rook and king. Perpetual? No, he wants more. Picks up the pawn. Get here just in time. Oh, he's gone. That's slick. Picks it up with check and then gets right behind and races. Whoa! Look at the clocks! That's what made me say, whoa, 28 to 4? Did I see that right? 116, 104, Rebecca Harris. Rebecca Harris has fire. Has to keep his foot on the gas because of Rebecca Harris. Man, it's not a, it's not a lock. 27 minutes to go in this tournament. Baba Ramdev, number 8. Challenge the queen. Here it is. It's gone. It's a strong piece. White is the better side here. These knights are clumsy. Bishop pair. This knight is under control. Yeah. And yeah, I have to give up some material. The queens are off. White is up the exchange and I feel confident we'll be able to convert this. I don't know what kind of tricks you could really pull off here. Might have a resigner. Salty one going down. Edge on the clock for white as well. Base points are covered. Nothing fancy with this. It's going to get rolling. This knight is a little bit annoying. Gonna run. Get behind this one and, and, and still bolt. If this rook ever moves, you move the rook and then push the pawn, I think. Okay, he's getting the knight. Two rooks versus a rook. Still no tricks. Okay, finally a resigner. And with that, okay, well, Rebecca Harris slipped up. Hmm. 116, 101. 25 minutes to go. If Rebecca Harris. Yeah, Rebecca Harris went down against Mud Pro. Okay, ooh. It's the Penguin. 
Salty versus Penguin. Okay. Is Penguin being salty? Playing uh, playing the French. Okay. Down upon. Preserving the bishop. Looking for something on h7 if there's a quick castles. This kind of stuff is nearby. Black is focusing on c4. Whoever takes, then this diagonal's opened up. Prepared to give the pawn back. Is that the plan? This guy kills this whole queenside, really. The d5 pawn. Okay, something is happening on the queen side. Split pawns. Black is uh, does not want to castle too soon because uh, this this is kind of scary over here. I like I like Black's position. Black must be better here. Black is better. Get rid of that queen. Can you by force get rid of the queen? Yes, I think Black will convert this. Could be a bit tricky. Can you get away with taking that? Yeah, you could. Okay, now it's not as tricky. If this pawn was in there, that'd be a different story. It'd be a lockdown on this side of the board. But now the rooks will have some activity. You can very easily see the a, a rook exchange. There's a problem here. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a, a big problem. You have to give up the bishop. A resigner broken down. Well, the knight's going to get here in time. Now the rook will not be denied activity now. Here we go. Yeah, and this one's falling. This pawn's going to be passed. Yeah, this pawn. Yeah, penguin is too too fast. If it gets into a, a rat race, he's going to win those. All of them. <laughs> that knight. Wow. Don't underestimate that knight. Ultra. Ultra tricky. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Opposite color bishops. I say penguin wins this. He is so fast. It's not going to move from 4.2. 4.1. They're going to get five or 50 moves in. Sneaky. A sneaky pawn. He was sneaky. <laughs> oh, careful. Careful. Nate. Uh, a knight. Nate. What's what I just say there? <laughs> Nate. Watch out for Nate. Watch out for Nate the knight. Oh, you should have got a knight with check. Maybe he 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 had the wrong uh, button pressed down. I think if you press control and then promote, you have the option to select your uh, your piece. Watch out for Nate the knight. <laughs> okay. Somehow won that one, the salty one. 118-105. Cashing loves bishops two squares for the knights. <laughs> Okay, this tournament's almost over. I could calm down. I could calm down then. Hmm. Okay. Queen up here. This is a big pawn. Hang on. The knights are trying to get to these squares. Both of them are juicy. Mm-hmm. Knight on e3. Shuts down any counterplay first. Save the bishop. The pawn's going to fall. Here and then there and then here. Okay, has a square to work with. White is still the better side. This pawn is half dead. White king is much safer. And yeah, even if this pawn didn't drop, white is still the better side in that position. Simple improvements for the pieces. It's collapsing. This knight is out of play. Hmm? Mm. Okay. That wasn't the plan to give up some material there. I still think white wins this one though. Uh actually not because F3 is not in. This is this is not the cleanest approach for sure. There is something to work with though. There is a passer. Also 13 seconds to 23. Some kind of mating net could be close by. Careful, careful, careful. Mate, 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 mate on G3. No good way to defend mate. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Mate threat on H2. Mate on G1 next. Yeah. That's a lot of material going after the White King. That definitely got away. 
from the salty one. 20 minutes to go. Where are we at in the standings? 118, 109. Whoa. This is close. 20 minutes to go. Rebecca Harris has fire. Ooh. Salty one went down. Rebecca Harris with fire. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Night King, number three. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's interesting. Take it with the pawn. Trying to get a mobile center. I guess so. His knights are under control. Mm, just blasting open the center. He wants at g2. This bishop wants direct sight of g2. And he's gonna get it. Yeah. This is a this is a painful piece to deal with. Queen exchange, he could win some material in the end. Exchange queens, maybe win c2. A rook is off the board. Whole queen side falls. Now he's going for something. He wants the king. He wants to keep the queens on board. Play this one out. Bishops are killers. F7 was under fire. There was a mate and two threat. Check. It's defended. Mate threat. Support the bishop. That's your way out of the pin. And now what? Okay, flush the knight away. Pressure on the bishop. Ooh. Fancy. Queen takes bishop. Rook takes rook. A little bit of activity there for knight king. But look at the clock. Under 10. 25 for salty. <laughs> Why isn't he saying Carlson by now? Okay. This should be clean enough. Yeah. Passers are marching. Two seconds. One second. Let's see the standings. Did Rebecca Harris win? Let's see. 120. No. Another big slip up. Opper knocked out Rebecca Harris. Okay, Rebecca Harris on board. One versus two. A big one. If Rebecca Harris is going to make a run towards the end with maybe these last nine games, this is the way to do it, to, to get this win right here. Let's see. Is White going to get rolling in the center? Yes. At any point, this knight could be challenged. Good squares for the black pieces. Anchor in the knight. Hmm. Okay. I kind of like black in this position, but maybe not now with the queens on. This is kind of scary. Where's the safe square for the queen after that? Yeah. Has to go into some discovery. Ooh, these are really strong pieces, huh? Take here. Look at look at these tactics, man. Fancy. Look at that. And if queen here, you take here and be on the queen. Blunder there. White's up a piece. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I blinked there. I blinked. Yeah. What's that about? He's trying to crash through. Get a passer. Checks. More checks. Oh, the rook, rook is under fire. I have to go here? No, the rook is gone. He missed that. Bishop's gone. Okay. Black's winning this. Multiple mates. Oh, there's no perpetual, is there? Step up. You could... Tr no, you can't. These guys are fast, too. No perpetual. No checks on H3 now. Yeah, that pawn is too fast. A resigner. Rebecca Harris goes down 122-109. Yeah, that might be... That might be it. We're getting to that point. Only about eight more games to go. Being back 10, 12 points is a lot. Okay. Baba Ramdev, next opponent. Bishop pair. Slightly deficient queenside structure. Play on the f-file. Maybe against h7 as well. Queen h5. Dark square weaknesses if somehow this bishop can get here. Probably a backbreaker. How do you do this? We're going to find out. That's how you do it. <laughs> Bishop on f6. Watch out for the rook up and overs. 
Smashing through on H7, uh, possibly. Picks up the exchange. Okay. Gearing up for E5. This knight's on a good square, but it's not really striking at anything. Maybe a push. Ah, fancy. Taking away from the center. Punch against the knight. G5. H file is going to be opened up. Hang on. Knight here? No, knight here? Oh, knight here you could take, and then there was this. Of course. Mate threat. Under 17. Checks. Check here, check there. Pick up a pawn. Could take on this square. 12 seconds for Team Black. Huge time difference. Pac-Man. Wants the queens off at this point. <laughs> Fancy. A resigner. Okay, with that, 126 is probably going to seal it. 17 points ahead of second place, Rebecca Harris, 196. Whoa, I'm really close to having the top five. Predicted perfectly. Well, no, not, I didn't have Night King in the mix. Okay, Rebecca Harris again. Game seven between these two. I think the first half hour didn't see a single pairing between them. But plenty of games now. Maybe the most uh, frequent opponent for Carlson. Okay. C4. Control C4 and you control the queen side. Control the knight. Oh, pawn grab. That's a big pawn. Careful. Knight H6. Oh, he, oh, okay, hang on, he did not miss it. Knight check, you go here. Going to the corner, you take the queen with check. So check, king f8 was calculated. How well was it calculated? Okay, up a piece. No, he's not. He's not up a piece. This knight is stranded. Being kettled knight, now there is a square to work with on c5. Material is balanced. And now what? Okay, takes that guy out. Takes the knight. Going after this pawn now. There's a check. This pawn's going to fall? No. This guy's going to fall. Can you take here? No. The knight is there in time to stop. That's probably one of the quick thoughts Black had there. Knight ending. And look at once more these this clock time. Rebecca Harris. Keeping the foot on the gas. <laughs> okay. This is a tough one. These are the type of end games you could see end in a weird way. You know, night versus night versus night and it not be called a draw. Possibly. Okay. The Black King is getting very active. <laughs> I don't know how to call this one. Gonna take the pawn. Oh, careful, careful, careful. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let, let's just see how it plays out. Want a night trade. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's gonna fly now. Too easy to pre-move. Rebecca Harris is going to get another one. 5-2 score for Rebecca Harris. 126-111. Rebecca Harris needs to go probably win out to make up 15 points. Meanwhile, Salty versus Penguin. All right. Two bishops pointing right at the king. Yeah, he's lining something up. Knight g5 is parried. No, it's not. White says, I'm going there anyway. Takes, 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 g6 is no defense. If this pawn budges, this guy's gone. This pawn is pinned. Dark square weaknesses? Wow. White is really going at black right now. Take the bishop, give a check, and then take here with check. Yeah, file's opening up. There might be some sacrifices here soon. This is excellent. 
Oh, I think I think maybe he should have uh castled first instead of the knight move into h5. It's a bit of an inconvenience. White wants to keep the queens on. Okay, finally gets in the castles. King is really seeking some shelter. He he's he's maybe going to run over here. Maybe the bishop wants to help out. Yeah. Yeah, he's slippery. <laughs> he's very slippery. King is ready to run away. Whitey's banking some material. Oh, knight's falling. Oh, the queen is falling. That's a backbreaker. Okay, he resigned. 128, 111, 104. Hmm. Okay. Catching. Get ready. Knight on f2 and c2. Here we go. Mouse slip. King f8. <laughs> okay. Space. Play on the king side. Queen side. Excuse me. B5 straight away. I love that. Or do I? <laughs> I don't think that was the that was really the plan. This pawn falls, this pawn falls. Yeah, it just, just keeps this tension. If ever a push or a takes, you give up a monster square on F4. Just hold hold your ground here and push through. Knight here. Get it H. Get it A2. Yeah, just H2 directly. Take the knight now. Smash through. Smash through straight away. And now take the knight. Queen is under fire. <laughs> There's no safe no safety for the king. Wow. I why did white is up a rook here? White is up a knight now. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> passer? Yeah, we have a passer. Pressure on the knight. Where is the knight safe home? Oh Queen Exchange is strong for black. This knight, the king is gonna inch up somehow. King wants to be here, possibly. Where's the king going? 20 seconds. E2. This can fall with check. Oh, there, he missed that. The he, he was maybe anticipating queen g4. Queen is gone. Salty goes down. 128, 113. 15 back. Four games to go, maybe. Maybe. Opper, next opponent. Opper, I predicted, would end up getting fifth. He is currently in fifth. I may have four out of the top five correct with my prediction. We'll see. Final games. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, materials bounce. C5, knight here, knight there. Yeah. Improve the king now. Now go after the knight first. A little bit of back and forth. Okay, we're going to have some trades. How do you win this? First, a check. What does that accomplish exactly? Hmm. Fancy. Oh, takes here, you take with check. Not losing a piece. Okay, there's a there's something to play for now. There's a there's a passer, some imbalanced structure. Thirty seconds to twenty-two. Knight versus bishop. Okay. Reposition the knight. Go hunting. It's offset. Might just bolt. Go after these pawns. No. King goes back. I think this is better for black. Strong king position. Superior minor piece. Okay. I think different now that the king is... Oh, especially now with the bishop gone. King takes knight here and then resign. He resigned. And with that 130, 113, I think we could call it now. 
17 point edge. Rebecca Harris does not have fire. Okay, let's see these final games in five minutes. That's gonna do it. There's no there's no catching Mr. Salty. Hawk 20. Having a fantastic tournament. 17th. Yeah, if you're if you're getting in the top 20, you're doing you're doing something very good. Top 30, I'd say. <laughs> top 30. This is a this is super strong. Okay. So, I haven't seen very many FM opponents, so it's another thing. Been pretty much all GM versus GM battles. Well, aside from Opper, who's probably GM strength. One of those cases where the, the rating has yet to catch up with the actual strength is all. Okay, well, who is better here? I would prefer to be black if the queens are off the board. Better bishop. Now, how to coordinate with this pawn? Queen activity. Here we go. Well, this pawn is pretty fast, too. No, no, you have to go for a perpetual. I don't think there's some mates, because this is hitting with check. That's the other thing. Can you try for that? <laughs> wow. It's really going for it. King here. Block hater. You have, to, you have to go for the perpetual now, no? I don't think... But yeah, you could you could exchange how fast are the kings. I think it's a drawn king and pawn ending. <laughs> Very important. If you take here, you lose is black. Pretty sure. Okay, now it's a win for black. Okay. Plenty of plenty of gas in the tank. It's gonna get that one. And then a resign. 132, 117, 112. Opper penguin. Ooh. Okay, aside from Night King, who was not in my top five, four four out of the Yeah, four out of five, I think, are gonna end up there. Is he done? No, he's not done. And we're gonna have a Berserk, a double Berserk game. Here we are. Towards the end, double Berserk, Hyper Bullet game. Let's see how this one goes. I give the edge to Penguin on this one. Hyper Bullet. He may be the world's best. Hyper Bullet player. 30 second chess. Let's see. Yeah, space on the king side for black. Knight is flushed away. D5. Pawn hunting. Oh, C6. Knight on C6. <laughs> Bishop moves, you take the knight. Winning some material now, under 10. Okay, some material for Team White. Queen is gone, a resigner. No, yes, a resigner. Edge on the clock as well. Penguin goes down in a hyperbolic game. Under two minutes to go, one, maybe two more games, and that's going to be it for this Leech has titled Arena 6, Baba Ramdev. Last opponent? We'll see. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky move. E5. White did have an opportunity to win that pawn, I think. D6 is sensitive. D6 can fall. It's gone. And what now? Baba Ramdev won the, uh, no, it didn't win the last game. 2-1 to one score. Hmm. <laughs> That's sneaky. You take with the pawn first, you end up in a pin, but just take with the bishop. Gets the pawn back. Black is now better. Has beautiful squares to work with. The queen and the knight. The knight is going to be impressive on e5. Can't challenge it with a pawn. Superior minor piece. A knight on d4 is strong. Check. What exactly was accomplished with that check? I don't know. Where does the king go? Keep pressure on the pawn. Okay, something a little... Oh. 
Well, the slip up there for sure. Yeah. This knight should not have budged from e5, I don't think. Can he save this? Is this a draw? Wrong colored bishop? No, there's no wrong colored bishop stuff. Yeah, he's there in time. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how this one works out. Yeah, I do. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a win. Bishop stops the pawn, and uh we're gonna have a resigner in the last one, and that's gonna do it. No time remaining. Final standings. There you have it. The salty one takes first. Assuming it is Magnus Carlsen. I would be surprised if it was not. <laughs> a sneaky a new account created August 4th. He's back to his sneaky ways. Was playing earlier as Dr. Drunkenstein and then uh, hopped in as this account. 137. First, Rebecca Harris, 117. I have the top two right. Night King was not in my top five. Opper I had picked as fifth. He ended up with fourth. Baba Ramdev took fifth. Penguin just out of money and uh yeah this was another one that i had in my top five so just out okay let's go through all the pages 251 entered not sure how many ended up playing let's go through the list let's see page two so these top five ended up getting what 500 250 125, 75, 50. Okay, let's see. Page two. Um, page two. Have everybody. Page three. Four. Alexander Zubov finished 32nd. Didn't have a great finish there. Five in a row. Five goose eggs. Yeah, a monster tournament. Figlude. I don't know that he played in uh, the whole tournament. How many games did he get in? 51? Yeah, let me see something real quick. How many games have you played from the start? 61? 58? 55? Something between 55 and 60 if you played right from the start. Seems about right. So still going through all the pages. Let's see all the competitors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot of uh like Larso was up there early. Got a game or two in with the winner. It's tough. Fun tournament to compete in and watch, for sure. And we are almost through all the pages. This might be the greatest number of titled players for this titled arena. Six. And that's everything. That's everybody. All right. Let me type in a good games all. That was fun to watch.